Okay, guys, tonight we have a special return, but it's not right now. It will be tonight, though. Also, WEF Universe, we have the Triple Threat Match main event. So stay tuned and enjoy the match. This match is scheduled for one fall, and it is uh, introducing first. We have the Destroyer. Jesus, see? You ready? You ready? Three, two, one, go! Welcome to the And his opponent, we have Shelf. This match is scheduled for one fall. As the ref checks both men, we have the Destroyer versus Shelf. Ring the bell. The ref has called for the bell. Ding, ding, ding. The match has started. Oh, they square up. Oh, and he goes with a knee to the gut. Irish whips him. Oh, he ducks the clothesline. And he gets to the knee to the gut. And a knee to the face. Oh! Is he going for his signature? The four corners. I think he is. There's the second one. And the third. Oh! There the four corners go. And down goes Shelf. He's going up top. But what's this? Shelf's getting up on his feet. Oh! An atomic Punjabi plum. Or, no. Atomic chop to the head. It's Punjabi something other, but I couldn't think of it for a minute. Get up. Destroyer is calling for him to get up. Will he finish this? Irish whip and he hits the boot oh and he hits the stunner and down goes shelf he's going up top one more time oh a springboard cross body and he goes for the pin shelf kicks out at two the ref's hand was almost down for a three count The destroyer gathering his breath while Shelf makes it to his feet. Oh, a big knee to the gut. Destroyer does not let Shelf up. Irish whip again. Oh, look at this. What's this? Oh. He ducks the clothesline. A German suplex out of nowhere. Destroyer is down. I cannot believe that.
Shell's getting him up on his feet. Oh, was he going for the sister Abigail? Dirty Deeds. He hit the original version of the Dirty Deeds. He goes for the pin. He grabs the ropes, not even making it to a two count. I think Shelf's getting agitated that the destroyer won't give up. Shell's calling for him to get up. He's looking for something big. He hits the gut. The destroyer overpowers him through the suplex. Iris whips him. He hit the sling blade. And it's over. Your winner is the destroyer. Next week, I'm going to be officially announcing my annual U.S. Open Challenge match. And whoever wants a chance, bring your ass out there to the ring and show me what you can do. This match is scheduled for one fall, and it's really first. We have the two-time United States champion, Lumberjack. And his opponent, the Madhouse, Jackal. And tonight, folks, we have a nice one-on-one. -on -one. We have Jackal versus Lumberjack. This match can go both ways. These two individuals have faced Eddie. multiple times. Eddie. The ding, ding, ding. And the match has started, folks. And the hat comes off. Oh. But Jackal does not let the head look get to him. Oh, and he's going down. And he lets him slide by just to get a big shoulder tackle from Lumberjack. It looks like the Madhouse has made it back to his feet. Oh, but he ain't letting it slide. He's bouncing him off the ropes. And Lumberjack with a big kick to the gut. Now he's bouncing back off the ropes. The big Irish whip. And just shoulder tackled him all the way into the quarter ropes. Oh, nice clotheslines. And I sling him into the other corner. Clothesline. Looks like Jackal's feeling it now, folks. Oh, but Jackal missed the clothesline, and it just costed him. He had the upper hand. And then Lumberjack going with these good knees. One. Oh. Oh, he just bonked his head up against the freaking turnbuckle. It looks like he's rolling it back. 
super kick. I don't know how many more of them Jackal can take. But just to be honest, he probably don't even know where he is right now. Two. When they lock back up, but this time Lumberjack takes the upper hand. Oh, but Jack ain't letting that happen. Oh, massive knee to the gut into a big DDT. He's going for the pin. Kick out at two by Jackal. I don't think the Madhouse is going to let him up that easy. That easy. Oh, but Jekyll's raised right back up. Oh, it looks like they're trying to do feats of strength. Oh, Jekyll had the upper hand, but Lumberjack didn't let him. Oh, and he gets down, and Lumberjack jumps over. But don't look like it lasts very long, but either way, Jekyll ain't letting him stay long. Massive knee to the face. And Lumberjack should be feeling it after that one. And now Jackal's just beating the hell out of him with these right hands. And a leg drop. A nice kick out at one by Lumberjack. Don't think the U.S. Champion's giving up that easy either. Oh, and a massive forearm to the chest. And he just clotheslined him. And now they're both just testing each other right here. Oh, and he tricked Lumberjack on that one. Oh, huge power move. Oh, but what the hell? He just rolled him up. Poor Jackal. One. He's rolled outside now. Two. Three. They're both down. Lumberjack's oh. down inside the ring and Jekyll's down outside Five. the ring. Six. Can Jekyll make it to his feet? Seven. Eight. What the heck is Lumberjack doing? He could win this match right now. But looks like he wants to win it a different way. Looks like Lumberjack's going for something big. Looks like he's going for a big super kick. And what's he going for? Spear! He just took his fucking neck off! And your winner! Lumberjack! He nearly took his fucking body in half! This match is scheduled for one fall, and here is the first opponent, Hackjaw.
in just a second. We got a team back, and his name is Extinct. <laughs> As the ref pats down, extinct and hack jaw. Let the match begin. I wonder how extinct feels for his first time back facing this fucking woolly booger of a beast. They lock up and extinct quick to throw him down. Big man's got speed and power. Shoulder tackle. Rocks, heck jaws, whole world. Steaked already took over this match. Another shirt of tackle locks him to the quarter. Bucky flip says heck jaw to the other side of the ring. What? Elbow to the gut as the ref begins his account. Heck, y'all stumbles. Heck, y'all just can't get a, a hit in at all. Big D. Big. Axe handle. Double axe handle beating. Brought extinct to the ground real quick. What's heck Jaw going for? Is he just taught to you or is he gonna fly? How you doing? Extinct's just taking a nap. Extinct rolls out of the ring. One! Hack Joe's gonna let him back in the ring. He thought. Another double axe handle. He did Hack Joe's finisher to him. But Hack Joe don't give a fuck. Well, he should have gave a fuck. I ain't done this in a while. What's well, extinct go? You heard it, Fat Man Flop. This could be it. And your winner is extinct via Fat Man Flop. What's extinct doing to Hack Jaws? He just took some of Hack Jaws' face, his hair on his face, and just peeled it. He's a pain. You heard him. All right, this is a an elimination barrel match. Up first, Andy Omega. Alright, next up, we have one half of the Tag Team Champions and the current Intercontinental Champion, JT. Yep, cash money, heroes, profit chess, polish, stay shot. Up next, he is the Macho Man Champion, Chris Nitro!
All right, the ref is going to pat him down. I didn't say it before, but whoever wins this match will get in the money in the bank. They're staring at each other menacingly. They're going at it. JT drop kick Chris Nitro. Now he's going after Omega. Little tackle of the spiel. He's going for a submission move, it looks like. JT trying to get out of it. Chris Nitro coming in to break it up. And a devastating backbreak of the JT. Omega going after Chris Nitro. Omega was the submission moves lately. He had to let him go because the only way to win this match is if you use the barrel. He's trying to get out of the ring. Get locked up. He was to go there. Chris Nitro made it back up to his feet. JT and him locked up. Knee to the gut. Get them in the gut again. Omega's trying to get a couple hits off. Now they're going to double team him. And Omega thought it was going for a PM, but he didn't. Omega's fighting his way out of the corner. Finding his way out of that grapple. Shots to the head, rolling him over. Oh, and he reversed it and suplexed him. Omega unmasked again. Out of fighting. He rolls him over to the other tongue buckle. Chris Nitro still laying down. And he moves out of the way. No one home. And he's in control of the match so far. He's exiting out of the ring. Alright, he's grabbing this barrel. Let's see if he can get it in the ring without... He throws it right on top of JT. He's going for some clotheslines while Chris Nitro is backed up against the rope. He was going to smash Chris Nitro's head against it. He reversed it and paid his own medicine. Now he's going to try to get JT. You can just feel the momentum going in these blows and tosses. Right. And the Omega's going for one of his submissions now. Trying to get Chris Nitro off of JT. Though, alright, there he goes. He let go of him. He's just holding on to him. JT's going to exit the ring to get a breather. Chris Nitro's fighting out of the submission. And Andy just gets into another one. And 
Joey's dragging him. JT's bringing in the steel chair. Yeah. Omega's trying to stop him from entering. He kicks away the chair. JT ran right into that. Omega's in control with the steel chair. Right into the spine of both of the contenders. He's propping it against the thumb buckle. Oh god, if Chris collides with this, he's gonna... Oh god, he collided with it! Chris Nitro's out of it. He's going back for the steel chair. He's eyeing down JT. Looks like JT's gonna suffer the same fate. Looks like it, he's propping it up. It fell down! What a fail! Big T coming back with revenge. And it looks like he's gonna get some revenge. Again, he's going to give Andy Omega the taste of his own medicine. Oh, but Chris Nitro gets back up. And he suplex him towards the torn buckle. Andy Omega's trying to look like he went for a choke slam and he got rammed into the chair. Chris Nitro catching his breath. Omega and JT's on the floor. Chris Nitro's going after him. He's eyeing that barrel now. And he just tosses it out. He's going up on the tone buckle. It connects and he also got some of it on Andy's stomach. Andy Omega is attacking Chris. I'm going for some headshots. And a DDT. He's got him in a headlock, trying to wail down JT. JT trying to power out. He got out, but Omega's trying to get him into another lock. Shots to the ribs. It looks like that broke it up. The chair is still in place. Here we go. Oh wait, he reversed him, and he goes into the chair. He tosses Chris Nitro out the ring, and he's following him out. He's dragging JT under with him. He's going to grab that barrel. Slams it right on JT. And he's continuing to assault Chris Nitro. Slams him right against the barrel.
He's coming back. Oh, kick right to the ribs. Rolling the bear out of the way. He's going for JT. He goes for the GTS. Omega comes out of nowhere. It looks like he's going for the Dragon Suplex. Looks like he's going to go for a dragon suplex again. He's going to try to toss JT onto the barrel. JT breaks loose. Super kick. And he staggered. Then he fell. And he jumped off the barrel and gave Chris Nitro an elbow drop. Now Andy's using the barrel and just kicking it on JT. Now he's going for another hold. Well, it looked like it did for a minute. These three are exhausted. It's on telling how long these matches go for with these, with talent as great as these three. And he tosses Chris Nitro back into the ring. And he's going after the steel chair again. JT still outside. Looks like Andy's taking a while to get in. Chris Nitro looked like he was going to recover in time. Chill shot right to the back. And he taunted JT with the chair. Oh, Omega just knocked Andy's left leg and then knocked him down. JT with the drop kick from outside the apron and a headshot from Chris, Chris Nitro with the steel chair. He throws out the chair. He don't need it to win this match. He's pumping up. And he reversed it into a DDT. All three of them's down. Rest just chilling. And he's slowly making it back to his feet. JT somehow has movement out there from that vicious headshot from the chair. Looks like Omega noticed him and he's going outside with him. And he goes straight for a headlock. Oh, and a DDT on the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring. And he's pushing JT inside along with Chris. And Chris is making it slowly back to his feet. Look at them guys, they're exhausted. Both Chris Nitro and Omega's on their feet. And he's backed him up into a corner. Chris Nitro get out of it. I don't think so. He pushes him. He he is fighting back. He's coming back. He's 
So is JT and he's gone for Curse Nitro. Some gut shots. Oh, he got JT down. Oh, kick through the gut. He's working on that arm. Maybe that, that will prevent Omega from doing some submissions. And he just rolls him out. Oh, he flipped back up and clotheslined lined him. Now he's going up. And a massive elbow chop, macho man elbow. Jumps up on his feet. And the Omega still outside. Locked up Chris Nitro, pushed him into the corner of the ring and punched him in the face. Chris Nitro just did the breakdown to JT. And it looks like Omega's gonna crawl in and see if he can just pick the bones, what's left. Oh, he's going for Chris Nitro's knee. Working on both legs. He's going for the ankle lock. And he just lets go. He's getting on top of him and he's whamming on him. Now he's coming back over to JT. And a massive clothesline. Kick to the midsection. Knee right to the face of Chris Nitro. JT rolled out of the ring. And Andy Omega's leaving the ring. And JT kicked the barrel into Andy Omega's shin. Andy tried to do the same but failed. And a massive drop kick by JT. Andy Omega's down on one knee. Chris Nitro's still in the ring. Looks like JT's trying to get control of this barrel. Drive by. Oh, and Chris Nitro just kicked JT. I need to learn these moves. It somewhat connected. He's going back over to Omega to make sure he stays down. 
Now he's going for the barrel. And he tosses it on Andy Omega's rib. Not rib, spine. Oh, right on the chest of JT. Omega's in pain. JT's not even moving. This night was taking a little breather. He's bringing the barrel inside the ring. Tosses him right in the ring. Omega's starting to come back on his feet outside. Break down on the barrel. JT is out of it. JT has also been eliminated. Now it's just Chris Nitro and Andy Omega. And he picks it up and wallops him. He hit him so hard he's flung himself out of the ring. Omega's taking a breath of himself. Inside the ring, Chris Nitro. He looks like he's bringing in the barrel. Oh, Chris Nitro's trying to make it in, but he got caught by Andy Omega. And now he's dragging the barrel closer to the ropes, what he's planning to do. Oh, looks like he's going to go for a suplex on the barrel from the outside into the inside of the ring. Oh, it connects. Chris Nitro's been eliminated. The barrel rung. That's it. Andy Omega wins this triple threat barrel match. These three brought, fought hard. They're exhausted. They all did good. You heard it guys, the GM said that these, Chris Nitro, him and JT is officially in the money in the bank.